Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be discussing a collaboration done with a cold wall and Converse. This is on the Geoforma boot in the Onyx colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, thanks for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings. Today we'll be discussing a collaboration done with a cold wall and Converse on this Geoforma boot in the Onyx colorway. This isn't the first time we've covered this silhouette on the channel. We've also done this in a lighter, more muted shade. Uh, so be sure to go check out that video if you haven't already. So we'll start off with the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I uh, styled this very beautiful black toned silhouette. Then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. All right, so as far as the upper goes, this definitely has more of a boot-like effect to it. It is very chunky. It does have a little bit of extra weight to it. We've got lots of different materials used on the upper. So we've got this nice rubber toe area, which wraps around to both the medial and lateral side of the silhouette. And then we've got some nice structure at the front as well uh, in a nice kind of matte black tone finish. And then we've got a little bit of branding here on what feels actually like like it's magnetic, uh, the lace tip here for the lace lock. So that's really cool. When it drops down, it just kind of sticks there. Uh, but that's got some uh, cold wall branding on it. And then this is very much so like a scuba effect. Kind of reminds me of a wetsuit actually. Um, but this actually has a very narrow opening here. So for those of you who have, I guess, a wider foot and a wider bottom half of your leg, this honestly may be a little bit on the uncomfortable side because as you can see, this is a very narrow, but the great part about this is that because it has the zipper, you can kind of leave it open and it'll just kind of stay there and not go anywhere. And this is very much so a scuba material. So this definitely is gonna keep you very warm and dry inside of this uh, silhouette. So let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around the side panels, this is where we've got Converse's logo on the side there, and it's very muted, which is quite nice. And we've got more of a shiny kind of material on the back half of the silhouette itself. And then we've got cold wall on the back for this nice pull tab. The interior is also in black with some dual branding. And as we wrap around to the other side, some subtle branding for a cold wall again here, as well as the top of the ankle here, you'll see some a cold wall branding kind of just just repeated throughout. Then as we work our way to the bottom, you've got more of a matte finish on the back of the heel of the silhouette where it's very chunky, like a boot. And then on the front, a cold walls branding is in white and we've got more of a shiny sheen finish. The outsole has some nice gripping as you can kind of see I've worn these a lot. So there's some rocks already stuck in there, but some nice good traction on these as well. All right, so let's take a look at those last and final details then we'll get into size and fit.
All right, so size and fit goes, I definitely went true to size in these. I did walk around in these all day at uh, Comic-Con and I feel like definitely I may actually keep the zipper down next time just because I feel like there is a bit of pressure on your Achilles tendon when you're wearing these. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that these are very narrow. So do take into consideration the type of foot structure that you have, because if you don't really have a narrow leg, these may be a bit more on the uncomfortable side of things. All right, so now let's talk about how I saw this. I am obsessed with the way these look. I've gotten so many compliments on them. I think they're just like so modern and so fun and so high fashion. Uh, so definitely a very easy silhouette to dress up. And again, it just has this nice kind of sneaker boot feel to it. And it's great for the winter time here in New York because it's going to keep you warm. But for the first look, I dressed up with a black blazer and a satin maxi skirt in black. And then for the second look, I decided to go with a maxi dress uh, in black with a black blazer that was a bit more fitted. And then for the last and final look, decided to go with a black bomber and some nice just boyfriend light denim pants. As far as the retail goes, these retailed at $150. They actually sold out quite fast. Uh, I was actually very lucky to snag a pair of these. I think a lot of people really were looking forward to this drop. Uh, part of it probably because this is just something that's really easy to style and again, kind of has this boot feel to it. But these retail at $150. They're currently, uh, depending on your size range, are going a little under that retail price point and some are slightly above. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that now and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxings and styling segments. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shade TV. We'll catch you all next episode. It's right. it's not something.